Single axis motion is done with the jog commands. The units are the same set in the configuration wizard, which sets the axis as pulses per unit PPU. Jogging uses jog ACC for the acceleration ramp, jog DEC DEC for jog deceleration, and jog VEL for setting the jog velocity. The defaults are zero, so for the terminal window we can type these in. From the terminal window, we, let's go ahead and enable the device. And then if we want to check the PPU of our X, that's 8,000 counts. And Y, that's also 8,000 counts. So that's one revolution. So if we go ahead and set jog ACC X to, let's say, 10. Same thing with the D cell. Then the velocity. 1, do the same thing for the Y, then if we want to jog forward X, and jog forward Y, and then if we want to turn that off, Or if we want to do both at the same time, we can just separate X and Y with the space. And then we can turn them off individually. Or at the same time. As you can see, jog FWD is for jog forward at the jog velocity. Jog rev is for jog reverse. Jog off decels at the jog deceleration rate to stop. To stop motion in the terminal window immediately, hold control and type X. This will kill all motion and sets the kill all motion request flag for all axes. To clear the kill all motion flags, hold control and type Y. Control Z kills all motion and disables all drives. Motion is killed any time travel limits are encountered. Control X or Control Z is issued from the terminal window. A dry fault is detected or an excess position error is detected. These are shown in the common status panel or in the bit status go to axis flags, quaternary axis flags. Bit 8467 is the kill all motion request flag for axis zero. Back in ACR view, if you do a jog forward X Y, both axes are incrementing, and then if you hold control and press X, it will set the kill all motion request flag for all axes. And then if you try to do another move, it tells you associated slave kill motion. So if you want to clear that, you can hold control and press Y. and then you're able to jog forward again. Or in the common status panel, there's also, close the message screen, you do a kill motion here, that'll also kill motion. And then you can also clear all kills from here as well too. The res reset command zeroes out the commanded position and the actual encoder position of the specified axis. If an optional preload position is specified in the command, that position is loaded into the command position and the encoder position registers. The ren reset encoder command resets the commanded position register to the actual encoder position. This command is useful to learn where the axis is after the motor is turned manually or is back driven when the amplifier is disabled. If the REN command is done just before the motor power is applied, the controller will learn the new position and zero the DAC command signal. In the ACR9000, when using the drive on command, a REN operation is automatically performed. Go ahead and pause the video and disable the drive with the drive off. Do a res X and also a REN X and a res X10 to see this in the common status panel. After starting motion with jog forward or jog reverse, a different velocity can be commanded with jog vel. 
and the axis will accelerate using jog ACC to the new higher velocity or decelerate using jog DEC to the new lower velocity. Jog moves are not limited to only velocity moves and you can program distance based moves with jog ABS for jogging to an absolute position or jog INC for jogging an incremental distance from the current jog offset position. If a jog move is in progress, another jog move command will cause the current move to abort and ramp to zero velocity before starting the next move. To see this in ACR view, go ahead and do a jog fill x10 and do a jog forward x. This will start moving and then if you do a jog inc x three, it'll stop and then do the three rev move. Another helpful panel in the ACR view is under tools in the jog teach. You have one for each axis. This shows you if you're enabled the actual position and this is scaled per user units. This will jog well held for this radio button and then the incremental you can do an incremental distance either in the positive or the negative you can stop the move in the middle of it as well too you can kill the motion so it'll tell you if you're faulted you can clear the kills then re-enable if you want to zero the position you can do it there as well too and you can also do homing